week 17 of the fantasy football season. And congratulations if you made your championship this week here in your fantasy weeks. Here's a few running backs I'd look to start this week. In time of recording this video, none of these players have been placed on the COVID or safety protocol list. The first guy I would start this week, Sony Michelle of the Los Angeles Rams. The Sony Michelle here, he's going to be the man right now in Los Angeles. After Darrell Henderson's gone down with a knee injury, that's going to cost them three to five weeks. And Sony Michelle, he's been very solid, especially the last month of the season. Week 14 at Arizona, 20 carries, 79 yards. Week 15 versus Seattle, 18 carries, 92 yards, two catches, 23 yards. And week 16 in Minnesota, a monster workload, 27 carries, 131 yards, a touchdown, a catch for four yards. So the only knock here with Michelle is, obviously, he's not a good receiver out of the backfield, but everything else he does, good guy picking up pass rushes, blocking for Matthew Stafford, and a guy who could obviously run through the tackles. So right here with a decent matchup in Baltimore that gives up a decent amount of fantasy points to running backs, especially over the last few weeks here. I think we could see a good game out of Sony Michelle. We just saw Joe Mixon have a huge fantasy day with 30-plus fantasy points in PPR leagues. And I think Michelle, this week at Baltimore, he could go for 80, 90 total yards and find the end zone. And he's definitely a running back. I would start this week. The next guy is Antonio Gibson, Washington football team. So Antonio Gibson, he's been having an up-and-down season, but no doubt about it, this guy has heart, and he could tolerate a lot of pain most of the season. He's been playing with a broken shin for the most part. Here's Gibson. So the last three weeks for him, week 14 versus Dallas, 10 carries, 36 yards, two catches, five yards of fumble loss. Week 15 of Philly, 15 carries, 26 yards of touchdown, 6 catches, 39 yards. And then week 16 and a blowout loss at Dallas, 6 carries, 29 yards. But he still added 2 catches, 29 yards, and a receiving touchdown. So right here, good matchup on paper versus Philly. Philly gives up the 10th most fantasy points to running backs on the season. And in their earlier matchup, like I mentioned, week 15, he had a good ball game with Gibson. And that was with Gary Gilbert on the center. So this week here, he's a good number 2 running back for fantasy owners. And I think he could score anywhere from 15 to 20 fantasy points. The next running back I would start this week's Rashard Penny of the Seattle Seahawks. A Penny here, it's been up and down. And he's also been a guy that he hasn't been healthy throughout his career. But the last two out of three weeks here, he's putting up big numbers. Week 14 at Houston, 16 carries, 137 rush yards, two touchdowns, a catch for seven yards. Week 15 at the Rams, 11 carries, 39 yards, two catches for five yards. And then week 16 versus Chicago, a monster game, 17 carries, 135 rush yards and a touchdown. So right here, week 17, a great matchup. But Penny versus the Detroit Lions that give up the seventh most fantasy points to running backs on the season. So Penny, we know he could run in between the tackles. We know he's got pretty breakaway speed. And over there in that backfield, the only guy that's really a threat to him is DJ Dallas because he actually could catch the ball out of the backfield. But Alex Collins... And Travis Homer haven't been fact is in the lineup here for Seattle. So I think Penny could have a good ball game. Great matchup versus a weak Detroit team. And he plays better at home as well like the rest of the Seattle offense. So right here this week, he's a good start. The next running back is Javante Williams of the Denver Broncos. So Javante Williams, it's been a pretty good rookie season in my opinion here for Javante Williams. The last few games for him, week 14 versus Detroit. 15 carries. 73 yards, a touchdown, a catch, 10 yards, and a touchdown. Week 15 versus Cincinnati, 15 carries, 72 yards, 4 catches, 9 yards. And then last week at Vegas, he didn't get much of a workload, only 9 touches in that game. 7 carries, 12 yards, a touchdown, and 2 catches for 8 yards. But this week, another good matchup for him on paper. At the Chargers, I give up the 5th most fantasy points to running backs on the season. So Williams here... We know he's a big physical back. We know he's a pretty decent receiver out of the backfield. And this week here, I think he has a good game versus Los Angeles. In week 12 versus the same Charger defense, he had a good one. 14 carries, 54 yards, a touchdown, and three catches for 57 yards. So I think this week here, I don't know if he'll reach that 20-point plateau like he did in week 12 versus this Charger team. But I think he easily could get anywhere from 13 to 17 fantasy points here. Is Javante Williams and the fifth and final running back I have as a start option this week. It's Ronald Jones of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So obviously we know one in Fournette's going to be out a few more weeks with the hamstring injury. And Ronald Jones last week had a good fantasy day 
in the start here for Fournette. So week 15 versus New Orleans, eight carries, 63 yards, two catches, eight yards. And then week 16 at Carolina, 20 carries, 65 yards, a touchdown in that one, and he added two catches for 16 yards. So this week here, what a great matchup at the Jets, the cream of the crop matchup that you want a fantasy running back to have at the Jets that give up the most fantasy points to Raw Bees. I think Ronald Jones in this one could have a huge fantasy day and definitely could be the difference in you winning the championship or losing if, if you have him, obviously, or if you're versing him. So that's a few running backs. I have his starts this week for week 17 of the fantasy football season.